it's Angela Prophet, and you're tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV. Today's tip is make budget priorities known. Here is the situation. I had a bride and groom that shared with me they did not drink alcohol and they didn't really think that their group would drink alcohol because typically you surround yourself with people that you're like. And if you don't drink alcohol, maybe a lot of your guests don't drink alcohol either. So they decided not to budget for alcohol in the overall budget, which was fine. But as we got closer and as their RSVP started to come in, I think they started to feel a little bit of pressure. They were gonna have a seated dinner and at the final meeting, the banquet manager said, do you all wanna do wine with dinner or a champagne toast? And she talked them into having a cash bar, which typically I would never do. I mean, it's a seated dinner and you're asking people to pay for their own alcohol. But again, if it's not a priority to the couple, I can't force them to pay for things. So they ended up not doing it. And there were a few family members that completely were shocked that, that, we, that we were having this beautiful seated dinner and this elaborate meal, but there was no wine, no champagne, no alcohol. So who do you think got yelled at? Me, of course, as the planner. But I'm not gonna sit there and educate a family member why my clients don't have alcohol. So I just have to smile and say, I'm sorry, there's, there's a bar downstairs. Well, the, one of the aunts went downstairs, drank a little bit too much, came back upstairs, took the microphone from the DJ when I wasn't looking, none of my team members were looking, and told the DJ that there's gonna be a cash bar and the bill was on her. So anything that people wanted to drink while dancing, a cash bar would open. and. I, I don't even know how this happened or how this got out of control, but they opened a cash bar. The bride was a little upset, concerned, but we just went with it. We let it, we let it go on. And she said, the first round's on me. Well, at the end of the day or the end of the night, I get the bill and the aunt did not end up paying the bill. So my poor couple, they were stuck with the first round on on them, which they didn't budget for that. So I wish that I would have talked with the couple a little bit further to let them know, please educate your family, let them know that alcohol is not important to you and you are not budgeting for that. And that's not something that you're gonna focus on for your wedding. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, angelaprofit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.